to like the battles, and you all basically just saw what happened there. I went for the Brave Bird thinking I could take Lanoon out, but I didn't take him out. So then he goes for the Extreme Speed, and he finishes off Albatross thanks to the recoil that I got from the Brave Bird before. Very good move, and I, I, I was impressed. He has defense. I didn't think Lanoon would be able to take a hit like that. So he goes for the Super Fang on Yogurt, who's a new member of the team, and she's defensively bulky with max HP. So, I mean, that really hurt me because I, I just don't like losing that much HP at one time, and that Super Fang really did it. So I Thunder Wave, hoping to at least get some Power Hacks maybe, or rather to stop him. But instead, this guy, he has pickup on Lanoon, and in 5th gen, pickup uses the item that the opponent already used. So we can pick up any item that your opponent has as long as they used it. So I mean, it's a very useful ability. So um, I go for the store power, hopefully trying to take this thing out. And then I go for a calm mind once again. Since I'm faster than him, I'll be able to do like two turns. And since he used extreme speed already and stuff, you know how that goes. So then he goes for the super thing again. And then he doubles it up with the extreme speed. Now I'm saying, okay, I might die from this. I might die. And no, held on with 41 HP. Then I go for the moonlight. I mean, it's a reliable source of recovery. And even though it's the only one she has, I'm not complaining. So then with enough calm minds boosted up, I go straight for the store power. And this should do a whole heap of damage. And it finishes off the moon. Thank goodness. But not at the cost of Albatross. I mean, that was a very impressive moon. I really have to give Matt that one because that was really good. So he goes into Scrafty, and I don't give a damn. I stay in and I take the crunch to the face. Now, do um, you think I'll die for this? No. I can take at least one. I know that. So I Thunder Wave him, hopefully to at least get some more power hacks to make sure that he's slower than the people that I have in the future. And that's going to pay off. Remember that this Scrafty being paralyzed will pay off. Pay attention. <laughs> And we're back, so um, I have no shame in saying that I was trying to recovery stall his Scrafty. I mean, I really was. So um, he switches, and that's good for me, because I'm able to use the Moonlight to take myself back above half HP. And I wanted to make sure that was done. And so I think he told me that um, he thought that Electric Pokemon couldn't be paralyzed, so he goes straight for the Agility. And um, I'm like, hi, Agility, I'll catch you in with the Thunder Wave. Boom, okay, what's up, Agility? So um, even with those Agilities, he's still not going to be faster than Yogurt after the Thunder Wave. So I call him mine, because I know this guy's special offensive out the butt. Why? Because a lot of people like Ampharos. I don't know why, I just don't like him. But I mean, <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, so then he goes for the Charge Beam, no special attack boost. Thank goodness, I go for the Store Power. And um, with the Call Mind boost I have before, this should do a lot. It, it does a pretty good amount. He goes for the signal beam, but thanks to the special defense boost, no no big damage whatsoever there. So um, I'm really feeling good right now with Yogurt in there. I'm just not trying to stay in too long and get a critical hit to the face. So I'm just trying to heal up and then get out of there ASAP as soon as I paralyze all of his Pokemon. Because I want to paralyze them to make sure that they're slower than the Pokemon I have in the future that I want to use against them. It's all a strategy. We'll see. So I wind up taking Ampharos out, thank goodness. I mean, it wasn't really that much of a threat to me, but I mean, I still didn't want him lingering around. So he goes for the Houndoom, and I stay in, and I go for the Thunder Wave. I told you, I want to make sure all of his Pokemon are paralyzed. I don't care what the risk is. I made sure this thing is bulky so he can take it. But after I paralyze him, I GTFO, because I don't want a critical hit coming at me. So um, he goes for two nasty plots now. This Houndoom is basically a monster, but he's paralyzed, so I'm hoping that Virgo can get a hit in. I misclick and I go for a Thunderbolt. I, sh I, I meant to go for Earth Power, but like, I think I sneezed or something, and I hit the Thunderbolt, and that's what I did. And I paid for it with the Flamethrower, and now Nidor Queen is roasted. I mean, Virgo, you all know Virgo if you watch my videos. Like, she's a treasured member of my team, but I I'm sorry about I did Virgo. I really am sorry, girl. So I go into Gaia, another member of the team. And she goes for the Mega Horn because I was predicting a switch to something else. I, I knew something else was coming, so I was just waiting for it. But nothing came, so okay, whatever. Goes for the Clam Pearl. I'm not trying to take a surf to the face, so I switch Gaia out and I send Cowabunga in. The other new member of the team, I think. Cowabunga, I, I like her a lot, but still, look how much this did. 
Note that I have the um, Evil Light and that Clamperl's an NFV. And he's still pretty damn good. You saw how much damage I did? And he goes for the Cell Smash. So that's even worse. So now I'm like, okay, I might be screwed here. Cowabunga. All I can do is this Toxic. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, hopefully this Toxic, I can be able to stall it out. I mean, like, but he has the Shell Smash on him. So look how much damage this Surf is going to do. What am I going to do here? I take the Surf right to the face. Cowabunga gets pushed down. And then I Mirror Coat. <laughs> this Clamper was very good. But he didn't see the Mirror Coat coming. So... The Surf went right back to him, and therefore Clamperl is finished. Now Skeptile comes in, and now that's... So Skeptile was able to take out War Turtle, and I felt really bad about that, but you know, she was able to stop the Clamper who had a Shell Smash, so I'm not too mad at that. Um, he used up the gem to power up his Grasp, so now he's extremely fast, because I know he probably has a murder, and he gets the critical hit on Yogurt, but not before I paralyze them, even though he's still fast as hell, because he has the Unburdened, but he's not faster than Bermuda. You all remember Bermuda. So she goes for the Air Slash, and this should do a heap, even without boost. And he goes for acrobatics. Now, if this was stabbed, it would probably kill me. But luckily, I was able to hold on. My citrus berry activates. And now, um, I'm faster than him, so I go for the air slash once more. And things are looking groovy. Like, I don't want to have the match in the bag now. I mean, he has one Pokemon left. And it's that Paralyzed Scrafty. Paralyzed Scrafty's finished, right? So, I mean, I go for the air slash and prepare to flinch him out. And that's a good game. So, I mean, wait. He dodged it? <laughs> Finished off Bermuda with the Moxie boost, and I only have one Pokemon left, and it's Gaia, and she's a rock type, and he has a boost up. I go for the Earthquake, and I mean, I think this finishes him off. I, I think it does. I can't run the battle too well, but I mean, I, I think it does the trick, and okay, that's good. The high jump kick, wait, so you're talking about stab plus 130 base plus gravity? It, it just, I mean, it, it's, it's not even possible. The match is pretty much done. Haha! I'm living! 62 HP! Let's go! Gaia is alive and well! She goes to the first place and finally finishes it off! That's not the end of the crap! That was my last place down too! That battle came down to the wire! I mean... Oh boy! Let me just take a rest really quick, because that was an incredible match. Um... Matt is a very good battler. He takes the same policies as I do. He goes for original strategies from original Pokemon and original tactics. He's an original trainer, and I like that a lot. I mean, but anyway, guys, I know I've been around, like, actually, I haven't been around for a while. And, I mean, it's because I kind of, like, was busy with school and stuff. But now that it's summertime, you know, I'm going to have videos uploaded probably every single, like, other day. So, I mean, please look forward to it. I'm not dead. I'm still around. A lot of you have been asking, you know, where's Etika? And I plan on taking over the entire battle circuit. I mean... I'm going to do my best, and I'm just glad that I have all you guys' support. So um, you can count on me now. I'm going to be around. And everyone, please add me on Facebook. Please add me on Facebook. I mean, you're all such good friends, and I just want to make sure that I keep in touch with everybody who loves Pokemon and loves, like, Pokemon that are, like, just, just add me, please. I mean, anyways, um, I'll probably see you in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. And peace. Be well. That was a good battle. That was a really good battle. I gotta go jerk off. <laughs>